Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Makes. For today's quick tip, we're going to look at the web tool in Fusion 360. So here's my dilemma. If you recall a few videos back, I had designed this GoPro bracket for shooting time-lapse videos off my 3D printer. Basically, I designed it in a way where I could just clip it right onto the edge of my print bed. The problem is that it's you can see it lies pretty low, so the angle is just not always optimal. So for larger prints, you know, I, I could only capture it like facing up and I wanted to have some more options there. So uh, what I did was I took this design and I tweaked it uh, to make this design here. And so basically I just extended it, made it a lot taller. Uh, but then this presented another dilemma where it was a little bit unstable. It was just kind of wobbly. Um, so I needed to figure out a way to make it stronger. Here's where the web feature came in. So what I ended up doing was I used the web feature to make these sort of thin walls here um, to give it some more uh, structural rigidity. Um, and I'll show you guys how I went about that. Now, the web feature, it's a pretty powerful tool for doing stuff like this, just because it's, it's really quick. If you just want to put some um, thin walls there to help um, support whatever it is you're making, um, you can easily use it to make stuff like this. Uh, in my design course, I actually take advantage of the web feature uh, for a soap dish design that I made. So for that grate um, part where the soap actually lies, um, I took advantage of the web feature to do that. I also used the web tool to make these little swirlies on my Santa sleigh model. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the two printed models. And as you can see, the one on the right where I used the web tool performed a lot better. All right, let's jump in and I'll show you how you can take advantage of this tool. Okay, the way the web tool works is that it's based off sketches. So let's begin by creating a sketch. And I'm gonna create this sketch right on this surface here of my bracket. So right on that inside surface. Um, so now that I'm sketching on that surface, I'll start with a few lines. So let's grab a line. And just as I did over here, you can see here I have sort of this clear pattern. I made these 45 degrees apart. Uh, I'm not gonna go crazy here, but I'll just show you um, the basic basic principle. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a few lines here. Now all I have to do is click stop sketch, uh, go to create, down to web, and let's bring the sketch back. So I'm going to toggle these light bulbs back on. Um, all I have to do now is just select my sketch lines. You can see if I, in this case, because they're all connected, it'll select all of them. And we automatically will get our wall there. So you see how quick and easy that is. Let's look at the dialog box here and I'll quickly go over some of these options we have. If automatically when you select, you don't see anything happening, just click on this flip direction. Depending where you made your sketch, it's trying to go one way um, and sometimes it doesn't work. So just flip direction, it'll go the other way. You have thickness options here where you can go either one direction or symmetric. I, you know, I, so I chose symmetric, so it's going you know, obviously the same distance um, from where I drew my line. Depth options um, here, we have it set to, to next. And basically, since I sketched on the surface here, the bottom surface, it'll go ahead and extrude until it reaches the top of that surface. Um, that can be changed, and I'll, and I'll show you in a minute. Now, thickness, that's just the thickness of the wall. So I can make that one millimeter. You can see it'll go skinnier or four. It'll just make it thicker. Um, so, all right, and then we have extend curves, and I'll come back to that in a second. So to next here, I can uh, change that and go to depth instead. And what that will do is it'll allow me to choose um, the depth. So in this case, I have it set to zero, but let's say I made it five millimeters. You can see now the depth, it only goes up five millimeters instead of previously when it was set to two next, it went all the way to the edge. So that's what that does. And you still have your thickness options here. Uh, okay, now I'll click OK. Actually, let's go back and change that to, to next. And we'll click OK. And I'll show you a few more things here. So let's draw um, some more lines. So I'll go back to uh, creating a sketch here. And uh, what I want to show you is you don't even have to draw the lines from edge to edge. So I'll go ahead and just draw a couple lines like this. And stop sketch. Let's go back to create web. And I can select these lines. Now, since they don't 
connect, I have to hold control to select multiple lines. And okay, so now you see that they will automatically go to the edge of the wall because I have the extend curves here selected or checked. So if I uncheck that, you can see that it only goes to the uh, edge of the line. Check that and your lines will extend. Now, this doesn't only have to work with lines. It actually will work with other uh, entities such as arcs and splines. So let's try that. Let's create one more sketch on this surface and let's grab the arc tool here. We'll do a three point arc, do an arc there and let's try a spline. So we'll go down to spline and we'll draw a little spline curve there, stop sketch, create web. And let's go ahead and grab that and then this as well. And there you go. You see same situation here. If I click on ex uh, uncheck extend curves, it just keeps it to the limitation of the lines there that I drew. If I check it, it goes all the way to the edge. It'll extend those lines. So, okay, that's the web tool in a nutshell. Um, you can see where, you know, mainly you can use these to uh, quickly give your model some uh, extra supports and rigidity, but you can also get creative with it. You know, you can see right here where I'm just kind of drawing lines and you can quickly get it to extrude uh, shapes that, um, you know, you don't have to then create an offset and then extrude. Uh, you can just base it off of one line. So, all right, guys, that's the quick tip for today. I hope that helped out. Um, let me know what you think. Were you already using this? Um, or if you have any other tricks um, with the web tool that you've used, leave it in the comments below so uh, we can uh, see how you're using this tool and uh, maybe help us to be a little more creative. All right, if you uh, like this video, hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Uh, plenty of good stuff coming. Um, next week, we'll sort of jump into the holidays a little bit and we'll do a little uh, holiday design. And always check out my website at desktopmakes.com for more in-depth courses on learning to design with Fusion 360. All right, guys, I'll see you next week.